Let's talk about invasive breast cancer. We will break down this diagnosis. We will use simple and clear information. I'm a medical oncologist specializing in breast cancer. These guidelines will help you and your family understand your options. What is invasive breast cancer? Our breasts have glands called lobules. They also have tiny tubes called ducts. Most breast cancers start in these ducts or lobules. Imagine the wall of a duct is a fence. Sometimes abnormal cells grow inside this fence. This is non-invasive cancer. But in invasive cancer, the cells break through. They grow into the surrounding breast tissue. Once outside, they can potentially spread. This is why early detection is so important. Anyone can develop breast cancer. This includes all genders and all ages. A diagnosis can feel overwhelming, but you have an important role to play in your care. Knowledge is power. We are here to empower you. After a diagnosis, the next step is testing. This is a fact-finding mission. Your team needs information to create your treatment plan. It starts with your medical history. They will also ask about your family's health history. They will perform a physical and clinical breast exam. You may have some tests and then comes imaging. You will have a diagnostic mammogram. This gives a very detailed picture of the breasts. It is often paired with a breast ultrasound, sometimes an MRI. The most important test is the biopsy. A doctor takes a small tissue sample, a pathologist studies the cells on the microscope. The biopsy confirms the diagnosis. It also shows the cancer's unique personality. Your team will check your hormone receptor status or HR status. They see if cancer cells use hormones as fuel. If they do, it is called hormone receptor positive. This means we can use treatments to cut off that fuel. They will also check your HER2 status. HER2 is a protein that helps cells grow. Some cancers have too many HER2 proteins. This is called HER2 positive. This information gives your doctors another specific target. It can take weeks to get all of these results. The waiting is tough, but each result is a piece of the puzzle. Once all the pieces are together, we see the whole picture. That picture is what we call the cancer stage. Staging creates a precise map of the cancer. It tells doctors its size and location. It shows if the cancer has spread. This map helps plan the most effective treatment. Doctors use a system called TNM. T stands for tumor. It describes the tumor size. N stands for nodes. It checks for spread to lymph nodes. M stands for metastasis. It shows if cancer has traveled to distant sites. All this information is combined. It determines a stage from zero to four. Hearing your stage can be emotional, but it is a powerful tool. It provides clarity. It guides the treatment decisions you and your team will make. Now that we have the map, we can plan the journey. Let's give you an overview of the main treatments. Your treatment is decided by a team of specialists. They are your personal experts working together for you. Treatments fall into two main categories. The first is local therapy. This treats the cancer in a specific area. The main types are surgery and radiation. Surgery physically removes the cancer. This can be a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. Radiation often follows surgery. It eliminates any cancer cells left behind. Now, the second category is systemic therapy. These are drug treatments that travel throughout your body. They reach cancer cells anywhere they might be. You may have heard of chemotherapy. There is also endocrine or hormone therapy, and there is HER2 targeted therapy. A newer approach for some subtypes is immunotherapy. Your final plan will be a combination of these treatments. Now, let's look closer at surgery. The two main types are a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. A lumpectomy removes only the tumor and a small margin, and it often requires radiation therapy. A mastectomy removes the entire breast. Your surgeon will also assess your lymph nodes. They check to see if the cancer has spread. This helps plan any further treatment. After surgery, the focus shifts. This is called adjuvant or post-operative therapy. It is a safety net. It eliminates any microscopic cancer cells still in the body. This reduces the risk of the cancer coming back. Your adjuvant therapy is a highly specific plan. It is based on the science of your individual tumor. These treatments are strong. They can take a toll on your body and spirit. This is why we have supportive care. 
Supportive care focuses on you, the whole person. It helps prevent or manage side effects. It aims to improve your quality of life. It is for everyone from the moment of diagnosis. Supportive care helps with fatigue. It addresses nausea and pain. It also helps with the emotional side of cancer. Feelings of distress and anxiety are normal. The most important thing is to talk to your team. Do not suffer in silence. They can only help if they know. Your treatment saves your life. Supportive care makes sure you can live that life fully. Now let's talk about what happens after a mastectomy. This is a deeply personal part of the journey. You can choose to have breast reconstruction or you can choose not to reconstruct at all. There is no right or wrong answer. Reconstruction by plastic surgeons reveals the shape of the breast. It can be implant-based using a breast implant or it can be flap reconstruction using your own body tissue. The choice to have no reconstruction is called going flat. For many, this is a powerful and authentic choice. The decision is yours alone. Talk with your surgeons before your mastectomy. This next step is about healing in a way that feels right for you. Finally, let's discuss the road ahead. This phase is about follow-up care and survivorship. Your intense appointments will slow down. You will have a regular schedule of checkups. You will continue to have annual mammograms, ultrasound, sometimes MRIs. This is your, uh, your new routine. Many people fear the cancer coming back. This is called a recurrence and the fear is normal. But if breast cancer does return, it is treatable. Your team will have a plan. You will have options. You have, you have been a survivor since the day you were diagnosed. Life after treatment may be your new normal. Focus on what you can control, a healthy diet, staying active. These are powerful things you can do for your health. Thank you for joining us. We hope this has brought you clarity and comfort. You are not a statistic. You are a person with a story. The diagnosis is just one chapter. There are many more to be written. We wish you health and we wish you peace.